Hey everybody, what's up? This is Rich. In this video I'm going to show you how to get better screen resolution from Ubuntu Linux using VirtualBox and Windows XP. This will probably also work in Windows Vista and Windows 2000 as well. I am using the latest version of VirtualBox which is available at virtualbox.org. This is version 2.1.4. It's called Sun XVM VirtualBox. And I have an Ubuntu machine running here. Let me just minimize this. Now what most of you will run into the problem of is that when you install an Ubuntu system in Windows XP is that you only get a maximum of an 18, excuse me, 800 by 600 resolution. If we go to System Preferences and then Screen Resolution, that's all we have, 800 and 640 by 480. So how do we get this bigger? How do we get the screen resolution to 1024 and above? Well, the way to do it is simply by installing what's called Guest Editions from VirtualBox and I'll show you how that's done. <clears throat> First of all we uh, press the right control key to escape the window and then we click devices. Uh, there's machine, devices, and help. I click devices and then install guest editions. This will actually mount a uh, virtual optical disk. It's going to state that this medium contains software intended to be automatically started. Would you like to run it? Now I've tried this before and didn't, excuse me, it didn't work. So what I actually had to do is run it via the command line. And this is actually very easy to do. We just click on Applications, Accessories, and then Terminal. And we need to change to the directory, which the virtual optical disk is, which is cd backslash media slash cd-rom zero slash. And then we're in the directory media cd-rom zero. Then I do a directory listing, ls-l. And the green ones are the ones you want to pay attention to. We have VBox Linux editions for AMD64, x86, AMD64, .exe, and x86.exe. The one we want to pay attention to is VB, excuse me, VBox Linux editions x86.run. To run this, all you have to do is type sudo dot slash, and this has to be very particular to case here. It's v, capital V, capital B, O X, capital L. INUX capital A D D I T I O N S dash X eight six dot R U N. And then we run that. You have to put a sudo in front of that because it has to be run with administrator permissions, otherwise it will spit back an error at you. And then it's going to prompt you to reboot after that. You press enter to install it, it will do so, it will prompt you to reboot, and you go ahead and do so. And then what will happen is that you might still be at 800 by 600 resolution, but what you can do now, if I take this window and I drag it out like this, look at that. Now I've got a bigger resolution. If I go to System Preferences and Screen Resolution, it's now at 1240 by 701. Kind of a weird resolution, but whatever you size the window to is what the resolution will be. So now when I go to websites, if I go to PCMac.com for example, everything works the way it's supposed to and now all the websites load proper and everything looks all fine and everything like that and that's the way to do it and if I resize this window again it'll keep resizing also you can do full screen with this point um, I can't really show it in this capture video by pressing uh, when it says press the host key, the host key is the right control key in your keyboard. So if you do uh, host key F as in Fox, like uh, control, basically it's right control F, you'll go full screen. And then you can use this session in a full screen mode. And it works pretty darn good. If you're using an older version of VirtualBox, I'd suggest getting this new version. It really works well. And after that, on the subsequent re reboots, you can just make the resolution anything you want just by dragging the window around. Put it on the second monitor if you have a dual monitor set up or primary. You can shrink it down to whatever you want. Works really nicely. And then when you're done with this, you can simply unmount the volume or just go to devices and then unmount. <clears throat> and it should disappear. Well, if it doesn't disappear, you can right click and just do unmount volume and it disappears and that's it guys take it easy